Hi, I'm Farak Masood. I went to the Camel School of Mines. I represent Oberon Solutions Australia. At Oberon, we offer a full 360 degree sector specific answer to all your contractor management, recruitment, HR, payroll, governance and legislative issues. Let Oberon Solutions Australia take the pain away so you can focus on the projects that will move your business forward. Search Oberon Solutions Australia. I'm the research director of our discovery program, but at Sarah Mineral Resources, we work right across the value chain from exploration and mining through to sensing and sorting um, and processing, essentially. Starting with discovery, I'm just going to take to walk you through some of the um, work that we've been doing at CSIRO. Uh, in discovery, we're working on developing new technologies for exploration and to try to secure Australia's mineral, uh, future mineral production and future security. And you might ask, why is that? Well, we know that um, we're very good at finding deposits in areas of rock, of exposed rock, not very good at finding deposits undercover. Um, I think I can illustrate this quite well by overlaying a map that I drew in my Year 9 science class. And you can see that the deposits that um, I could find out about in Year 9, this is before the internet, are in the same areas um, as the deposits we know about now. In line with that, um, one of the things that we've developed in uh, my program, in the discovery program, are fast and reliable ways to characterise uh, uncertainty in geophysical models and to get better geophysical models we think going forward. Here's an example using MT data from the Cloncurry region in Queensland where we've used multi-physics so we've included um, uh, magnetics and gravity um, that's coincident with, with our MT line which is through here to help to constrain our MT model. Um, to test that, we also, or to test our MT model, our magnetotellurics models, we completed a synthetic inversion as well around this apparently known geology. And we're very, very happy with the results. Um, moving on, we're also using, oops, go back one. We're also using machine learning and AI to help predict elemental geochemistry um, in drill core. So that's without analyzing for el elemental geochemistry from cheap, um, fast, less expensive sensor data. Here's an example from our Rosetta platform where we were able to even predict copper concentration. So you can't see it because my face is there, but um, in this region through here, um, from sensor data um, that can't uh, sense essentially for, for copper minerals or copper mineralogy. Another innovative solution for exploration and mining is data mosaic. Um, data Mosaic is a machine learning methodology that aids in consistent core logging. What it does is it takes multivariate uh, data, it could be geochemical data or downhole gamma data, so it's just any data that, that has a numeric value. Um, it basically looks for breaks in those data, so some, these sorts of areas, and from those, the breaks in the data and the properties of the data, it's able to predict the lithology um, from a certain region um, or, you know, from a certain area or deposit um, in, this, in this example. The idea around this is it leads to consistency in logging between different geologists, which is really important. It's a very, it's a very frustrating thing we have to deal with in geoscience is that um, each geologist will log something slightly different, differently. This, this should lead to consistency in logging between different geologists and therefore um, much better 3D models. So you can put these outputs straight into your 3D modeling um, packages, your, your favorite 3D modeling package. At a larger scale, we've commercialized our Ultrafines Plus um, soils technology uh, with LabWIS. Ultrafines Plus can enhance uh, results so that the element concentrations that were previously not detected using conventional techniques are now detected. So here's an example, conventional techniques. These are from where the, these dots are where soil samples were taken, the ultrafine technique through here. You can see you get enhanced results. 
So it potentially helps to focus exploration programs and as well as potentially opening up new spaces in old regions to go and look at. High resolution mapping with CSIRO's um, X-ray fluorescence mapper um, illustrates the relationship between different minerals and elements at unprecedented scale. So with this mapper, we can map slabs of rock that are 50 centimetres by 15 centimetres. So that's great for drill core or even slabs of rock. There's minimal um, uh, preparation of that rock. You essentially just have to cut it and put it in the machine and we can scan the different elements. Here's an example where we can see, um, and again, you can't see it so well, but you can see this is zinc um, in blue through here and, no, sorry, is that carbonate in blue through here and zinc in the lighter blue and greens um, throughout this region. So it looks that zinc is actually replacing the carbonate in this particular rock. We've been working with companies to understand their, the, how their um, ore was um, formed, so the petrogenesis of their deposits, and also understand geometallurgical properties of deposits um, for companies. Syro Mining Geoscience have been working on 2D and 3D um, vision for quite a long time. Um, the use in remote sensing applications. Um, in this case here on the left is a telf mine through here. Um, and the, you can see that the, uh, so the, this is actually a very high resolution image. It's one of the first ever full pit 3D models created um, via high resolution photogrammetry. On the right here is a 3D analysis tools image that was gen generated through the commercialized technology CyroVision. Um, and has a world leading rock mass structure tool built in for geotechnical engineering applications. That is, CyroVision has that tool within it. Uh, it includes mine design and slope stability analysis. Um, in addition, at CSIRO, we've developed a, a stereo camera system, which is also commercialized through DataMine. Um, this allows high resolution 3D models of underground drives to be created for geotechnical and geological resource characterization. Uh, Syro has developed the X scan. So the X scan, this is it through here, little I, little um, graphics of, of X scan through here, is a robust and rugged laser scanning system specifically designed and certified for use in explosion risk environments. So, so it's very, very sturdy. The internal rotating um, LIDAR can rotate 360 degrees um, and essentially uh, records millions of points um, in Cartesian, Cartesian coordinates, allowing real world measurement and visualization of the mine for in real time. With multiple sensors installed underground, the system can provide near real time views of all parts of the mining operations, um, remaining that, the, that remote operators get an unprecedented full overview of the mine. This view generates just a snapshot of, of one mine in, in Queensland. Um, and it gives you an idea of what this system can do. Basically, these data can be integrated into a uh, system-wide digital twin. Our sensing and sorting program uses sensors to detect mineral mineralogical changes in rock to upgrade ore before it gets to the processing plant. A couple of examples here. So um, an example, our MR sensing technology um, consents for copper mineralization, and we've partnered with Nextdoor to commercialize this technology through Nextdoor. And our um, online gold analysis tool um, here, you can't see it because it's behind me, but um, basically to be used in processing plants can detect gold that's going into your processing plant. So gold from slurry can be detected using the online gold an analysis um, tool. So down to about 30 ppb. Our mineral, mineral processing um, team uh, is, is uh, concentrates on three capability areas. So that's processing chemistry, um, modeling, measurement and control systems, covering almost all physical and chemical mineral processing unit type operations. Um, over many years, the group has responded to industry demand for research and development, building up expertise across the periodic table 
and covering pretty much every type of deposit. So base metals, precious metals, critical minerals, um, iron ore, coking coal. Uh, it works with the, um, the minerals industry from the lab laboratory to the pilot plant to on-site operations. Um, the current key focus areas for our team are in supporting Australia's existing iron ore and coking um, facilities or operations with sintering, palletisation and coke making R&D and test work. Supporting Australia's efforts to grow new value chains associated with critical minerals, um, including those associated with batteries delivering fluid engineering and electrochemistry solutions into mineral processing operations to improve mixing performance, increasing, uh, increase asset life in the plant and enabling um, real-time low maintenance water quality monitoring as well through our BESI system. Uh, we're, we're also seeking um, to make large step changes in innovation um, opportunities through engagement with CSIRO emissions, so supporting the CSIRO emissions, particularly in critical minerals processing and in um, low emissions iron ore and steel. So that's it from me and CSIRO Mineral Resources. Essentially, we, we partner with industry to innovate, improve and grow. Hi, I'm Farak Masood. I went to the Campbell School of Mines. I represent Oberon Solutions Australia. At Oberon, we offer a full 360 degree sector specific answer to all your contractor management, recruitment, HR, payroll, governance and legislative issues. Let Oberon Solutions Australia take the pain away so you can focus on the projects that will move your business forward. Search Oberon Solutions Australia.